Residents of Occidental Mindoro are struggling with routine day-to-day -day activities as the power crisis in the province continues. Mon Gualdes reports. Loads of laundry welcome those who enter this laundry shop in Mamburao, Occidental Mindoro. People here take advantage of the four precious hours that power is on in the province. Ay, bilis na kami magtrabaho sa laundry, maglaba, sa alang lahat sa machine, at sa loob ng apat na oras, at mm, hindi natapos ang sitwasyon ng dry rain, ay saka kami nagpapaandar ng generator. They spend up to 800 pesos daily in crude just to run their generator. Aside from the cost, they also adjust working hours to the availability of power which is often during the wee hours of the night or at dawn. Mula alas 12, magsasakripisyo ka ng magtrabaho, maglaba, sa laundry, hanggang alas 4. Fishermen are also complaining about the 20-hour rotational brownout. Their main concern, the ice they use for one week of fishing. Nag-aantay po kami nung dating ng yelo na makapal. Imbis na makakalaot ngayong araw na ito, mag-aantay ko pa ng dalawa, tatlong araw. Pagdating ng yelo, saka ka pa makakalaot. This ceiling tank is supposed to be filled all the time with ice because this holds the fish they catch here in the barangay in Mamburo Town before traveling to Manila. But now, sometimes a week passes by that the storage is not being filled due to the high cost of ice. The provincial government has written to almost all energy-related agencies to ask for help. Sumagot ang DOE, pero mga plans pa rin eh. Yung sinasabi niyang uh, uh, emergency purchase ng uh, power supply, uh, one year pa yung sinasabi niya, eh, immediate na yung kailangan namin. Ang immediate kasi may 8 megawatts na nandyan. Malaking tulong yun kung yung 8 megawatts ng OMCPC mabigyan ng ruling ng uh, ERC. Sigurado may kuryente kami. By tomorrow though, they may experience a respite. This as the current 12 megawatts being consumed by the province will be hiked by 5 megawatts. Pinigyan kasi kami ng certificate of exemption ng DOE na mag-procure without uh, conducting a competitive selection process. Pero hindi ito makakakuha ng subsidy mula sa gobyerno. The problem now is Consumers will have to shoulder the cost of the extra load. This would guarantee them 2 to 3 hours of extra power supply. However, they will still be left with 17 hours of brownout per day because this still does not meet the province's daily demand of 30 megawatts. That's why the Occidental Mindoro government is now pushing for solar power. Hindi kung makaipon nga tayo ng mga nagsosolar ng 5 to 10 megawatts supply. Malaking bagay yun. Sa halip na makikihati pa kami sa supply ng, Umeko, ay ng, ng, uh, ng OMCPC, ay hindi na. In the end, the province appeals to President Bongbong Marcos to help them solve their power woes, which has already spanned more than a decade. For News 5, Mon Gualvez, we are One News.